Good morning, beautiful people. I wanted to share a very sad story as the beginning of the morning because I think that's a good way to start the day with a very sad story. So here's the story. I come into the shop every morning. Oh shit, oh that's Ricky. And I order a black tea and then they bring me a black coffee. So they bring two black coffees, one for Ricky and one for me. And I'm like, I can't take that. So that's the story, it's a pretty sad story. And then they brought me black tea again. Also I realized I feel like the, the uh, I, because I do intermittent fasting, this became harder since I quit coffee. I'm getting hungry earlier. Turns out coffee is a uh, appetite suppressant. Or as Ricky would say, it's a hunger depressant. Appetite depressant. Appetite so, yeah, if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're quitting coffee, it becomes harder. I don't know, maybe I might eat. So Ricky and I decided, but really, I decided that we should do some funny videos. And so we're just brainstorming some. And most of these ideas are from me, I'd say. <laughs> are they? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like, Because like the thing is, Ricky is like... I mean, you guys see him sometimes in the vlog, like he's funny sometimes, but it's like, it's really just like me facilitating it. Yeah, so, clearly. and it's the editing. It's like the editing that I do that kind of makes it look more funny on my mm -hmm. vlog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the full editing he does in these <laughs> vlogs. Is... Because I do so much editing. Yeah. Um, he, he can't, like, he does so much editing that it doesn't even look like there's editing. Exactly, the it's, it's a very natural style of editing. So this has already it's, been edited 17 times. So it's a lot <laughs> yeah, than there are a lot of edits here right yeah, now. Yeah, you can't even see like, <laughs> A lot of things happening right now. You just don't see them because that's how subtle they are. It's very subtle. Mm. It's a lot of like, you know, little things that I adjust. It's, it's like, me of genius. Just, yeah, yeah. It's like, wow, how can he create an image that looks so real? Mm -hmm. You know? It's like National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, what, what, uh, yeah, um, what should I talk about now? <laughs> I don't know why you picked up the camera. <laughs> you wanted to let him know they were going to do sketches? Yeah, we're going to do more sketches. Well, I, he's going to be like the prop because sometimes he's a bit funny. But it's really me, like, as the, <laughs> as the star of the show, I'd say. Because, like, I mean, that makes sense. Anyway, um, for example, one idea we have is, uh, I don't think it's going to be funny if we just say the idea. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's just We're like, not going to tell you. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, Ricky? <laughs> so, I think... So, <laughs> Ricky here. Yeah. Um, so, I think we're probably not going to let you guys know what exactly it is, um, but uh, you'll, you'll see it eventually in the vlogs. Exactly. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Um, I wanted to make a quick video talking about a framework that helped me personally work through a lot of like very hard and uncomfortable decisions. So I wanted to share because maybe it, it helps other people and it's, it's that if you have a million reasons to not do something, that's when you should do something. And I want to explain it because I think initially it sounds kind of counterintuitive. The reason why I think it makes sense to do something, especially in a case where you have a million reasons not to do it, is for two reasons. Because number one, usually if something really doesn't make sense, there's one simple reason. Like, why should you not jump off a cliff? Well, because you're gonna die. And we stop thinking about the decision because that one reason is enough for us to, to move on. But if you actually have a million reasons not to do something, that means two things. Number one, you actually spend enough time to think about it to even come up with a million reasons right it means that it has been on your mind for a long time and the second reason is that it means that somehow your brain subconsciously knows that reason number one doesn't really count and so it comes up with reason number two of why you shouldn't do it but then you also kind of know that reason number two also doesn't really count so you come up with the next reason and the next reason and the next reason. So if you have a million reasons not to do something, 
do it. That's why I came to New York because I was contemplating for so long. There were so many reasons why I shouldn't do it. I didn't know anyone. It's expensive. I've never been to the US, US visa issues. And it's really just once I realized that, you know, the, the stars would never fully perfectly align, align and that this is just a sign that I need to be doing it because I came up with so many excuses. So yeah, wanted to share that. Hopefully, maybe it helps anyone. Let me know what you think about it. If you have a million reasons not to do it, do it. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. See?